are in fact getting into top six, I believe, winner's side. I'm assuming, considering it's these two. Yeah, this is winner's semis. Yep, winner's semis, you so know, minus 327 degrees. I, I don't know if Ritual used it on mic, but uh, it said earlier today, like, Xeno Sub-Zero, and I think that's funny. Yeah. It is freezing tonight, but the sets are hot. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm keeping, I'm doing my best to keep warm back here. And you're doing great. You got the hands in your pockets. Yeah. <laughs> Even Mr. No. E's got like four layers on. I know. I already start with the hoodie. Ooh. The funky push little hitbox. there. E trying to potentially go for like an instant ledge trump there, but unfortunately getting back aired for his troubles, finding a back air of his own right now okay. into the down air. Mr. E just looking looking tired. He's he's played this matchup so often. <laughs> but LRA start is locked in. I see now where you get it. Those <laughs> shield breakers. It's so good! Anyway, what is really good here is the patience for Mr. E, but, you know, I would say Wolf, a very small body sometimes, it's so hard to punish out of shield, especially with all these shifting hitboxes. It was a great shimmy right there from Mr. E, but committing to the counter a little bit too early, now giving LRA the stage control as he tries to keep E out with these blasters. You know what Mr. E's uh, favorite to show as a kid was? What's that? Shimmy Neutron. <laughs> all right. Anyway, <laughs> Mr. E with a great dancing blade. Oh, okay, I like the mix up there from LRA start to get back. I think a side B, the flash would have been a lot more, you know, predictable. But here we go, Mr. E, great fade back. Oh, try it for the call out, didn't get it. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> so I, know, I know it happens to the best of us, but Mr. E not phased in the slightest, getting the nice clean confirm into the up air and now a stock lead. Using that air dodge a little early. You know, I like the change of pace here from LRA start. Yesterday, he shook his head every time he took a stock. And now he's shaking his head whenever he loses a stock. <laughs> there you go. You, you got to hype yourself up and be disappointed at your yeah. losses, not the other way around. But you know what? This is very doable. Mr. E is susceptible to any confirm here. Maybe a neutral air into an up smash. Just a back air. Yep, you like I, the wall of back airs here. I like the grab there from LRA, just uh, adapting to this more patient game plan that Mr. E is starting to throw out, but still not able to find any of these stray hits. Mr. E just chipping away, getting this extra credit. It's the desperation, but finally, you know, get stage control, and we're not going to see so many up smashes or forward tilts thrown out that Mr. E can Ooh. capitalize on. But both at center stage. Ooh, the movement. Oh! Finally, though, the Wolf Flash is going to be connecting. LRA taking us to even stocks, but not necessarily an even game as Mr. E continues this pressure, just resetting the ledge situation over and over again. It is a spacey. You're going to be edge guarding them eventually. Mr. E getting a little Ooh. desperate themselves with that forward smash at the ledge, but you know what? The down smash not going to miss. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. LRA starts got some forward smashes as well. Yeah, very scary situation, but the Thundercats coming through for Mr. E. Taking game one. Oh! You'll never defeat me. I loved that show as a kid. How many ever watched it? You never watched no. it? You missed out. Shira was fantastic. One of the great female leads of that generation. Chili Mountain. Ooh. That is a very nice logo there. Ooh, yeah. You know, very appropriate for the venue today. Yeah, seasonally appropriate. People have been telling me that it is just so cold today. And it's like, listen, listen. The Xeno venue, it's either freezing or you are on, like, the surface of the sun. Yeah. But we're going back to the surface of Final Destination. Flat, but so high. <laughs> Do you subscribe to the flat Final Destination theory? What's the flat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, you can see the sides. Exactly. You just run off the ledge. Antarctica doesn't exist. <laughs> anyway, but what does exist are these fairs. Both trying to do a fair train. Yep, just trying to keep this center stage on lock. LRA using these blasters to keep the stage presence right now. Trying to shimmy out of the way, maybe looking for a whiff punish. Mr. E now with the positioning. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I mean, when you've got a, an F smash as safe as that, yeah, just go ahead and throw it out. See if Mr. E gets a little bit impatient in his approaches when he's in disadvantage. 
You know how you can okay. tell when a Lucina is locked in? When they do the little, like, faux wave dash back. Mm -hmm. They're in. They're focused. Ooh, the, I think, actually, the air stall from the Shield Breaker, keeping Mr. E safe from that F-Tilt. I think if LRA had angled it up, we may be seeing a second stock situation from E. I believe LRA was trying to punish that with a parry, but just mistimed that. The neutral air can be susceptibly strong. Oh, no. Just this wall of back airs. Who's going to throw that first hit? Got that burst in. Yep, LRA has been looking for that dash attack, but just getting clipped over and over again by these lingering aerials from Mr. E. There we go. Great dash back to avoid the dash attack and set up for the juggle into the kill. I like the Mr. E is Woo! okay. At 153, they're just going to be holding on to as much life as they possibly can. Just going around, getting stray hits, not really going for a kill until a miracle happens. Oh, that Ooh, that's going to be it with the back throw. LRA, great patience there at the ledge, reacting to the neutral getup. You know, the difference Ooh. between a game one and a game lost is the extra credits. If you're true. All right, we're going to see Mr. E now is setting up at the ledge again. Both just throwing out shields. <gasps> oh! And reading the roll in as well. LRA uh, nodding his head like, yeah, you got me. I, fair enough. Well, he's not dead yet, so you know what? No harm, no foul. Mm, but all the harm there. there. Though. LRA looking a little, well, a little flustered there. Didn't really like their DI. Didn't really like that they lost the stock. Not early, but they are. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Mystery's going to pop off right now. Try and go for these early kills here. Mm, neutral he get up into himself. Wolf da uh, down smash. Now LRA, after a fairly rough loss of the second stock, bringing us right back into even and a very slight percent lead as well. This is really anybody's game here. Ooh. Are we going to see a game three, or is Mr. E going to continue on? Pivot F-Tilt resetting the situation once again. Pivot F-Tilt, you're giving me flashbacks to Smash 4. I'm getting flashbacks to the last time I saw Pivot F-Tilt as Mr. E throwing it out once again, resetting this ledge situation. Great tech from LRA, keeping him in this game. Oh no, that shield looking really small. And that's the frustrating thing about back air out of shield. You saw the sparks just fly above Wolf's head, I mean, LRA starts head. Oh, Mr. E just needs one hit, one forward tilt, one back air, maybe one up throw? No, it's not going to start killing until 170. Ooh. Oh my god, what an air dodge in to get into center stage in position for the up tilt, and Mr. E takes it 2 0 over LRA Star. That's such a gambit, too, because if LRA Star read that, it's an easy punish. Mm -hmm. he, what he needed to do was just stand and wait for Mr. E to throw out an option. Yeah. But if Mr. E, knowing that LRA Star really was getting desperate, could taste victory, really played into that overconfidence, or the desperation right there at the last dock. Oh, that wave dash back into the Dancing Blade. That was beautiful. Watch that. Yep. Mm, no, beautiful actually spacey. not interested in this forward air. Nah. Did you notice it also uh, It did. Splashed. It, phantom, it did phantom hit. Yeah. It's like, OK, you know what? Just does Oop. space a little further. The micro spacing. Love to see it. Smash Ultimate turning from a game of inches to centimeters, <laughs> maybe millimeters eventually. We're going to get microscopic eventually. here.